A few people have asked me recently why I've let my beard grow so long. I've jokingly started saying that it's in solidarity with my daffodils. I'm not going to shave it till they come out. It's been 18 degrees most of the day. It's been absolutely lovely. The daffodils are just showing a little bit, tiny little bit. So might not be too long before this cut. I might just shave it anyway. It's ridiculous, isn't it? The temperature today is perfect for doing all that roof felt with the bitumen adhesive. But as it happens, I've been thinking a lot about that back corner where the tree is. To do things the way I was planning to do, which is just to put shelf brackets on the wall there and uh, have a curved timber section, that's quite tricky. So I thought, actually, I'm going to do it differently. I set to work and dug the soil down to a depth of about two or three inches below the level of the railway. I then marked out using some track and some lolly sticks where the track was going to go. And using some scraps of hardboard I filled in the middle section with some gravel and packed out the outsides with earth until I made it all the way around and now I have a lovely gravel base. And those of you in the know will be thinking that gravel is way out of scale if I want to be using it for ballast. I'm not using that for ballast. The ballast is going to be uh, sharp sand and cement because that actually looks pretty good from what I've seen of other railways. I did make it all the way round to the other edge. I've put some stones down, partly held by mortar, and banked up earth behind them. The earth that's banked up behind the rocks, I've put that there now in the hope that it will settle a bit and the bricks there just to separate it from the earth that was there, which frankly I need to go through with probably a comb to get all the weeds and roots out of. It's absolutely hideous. And I just thought for the straight section between that brick there and the stone, I would just use a straight bit of timber. It's nice and exposed so I can change it if it does rot, but it'll probably be fine for a long time. And it's uh, a lot better than leaving yet more bricks everywhere. I feel like there is too much solid brick and gravel and that sort of thing so just that straight section because it's straight i'm going to use timber and i don't care what anyone says you might also notice that i've placed some rocks around the side of the line um, just for effect there's one particular rock there that was a much bigger rock and i tried to cut it in half with a bolster <laughs> and it broke into four pieces three of those pieces are in formation i just thought that looked so natural and the colour of the rock as well. Uh, there's a sort of purple and orange in there. Even though I meant to cut one piece of solid rock, I'm more pleased with those three bits than I would ever have been with the one piece of solid rock I planned to cut. But I've reached an, but I've reached a, a, but I've reached a natural, reached a natural stopping point. Why is that so hard to say? I'm at a sensible place to stop now. I was annoyed with the clock changes, but I'm actually really pleased that how well the lights lasted because I finished my work for the day and it's not even getting dark so that's great long may it continue and I'll be back another time